Saturday, October 28th, is not only a full moon, but a lunar eclipse. Hi everyone, my name is Melinda Van Fleet and I'm an energetic and intuitive business and leadership mentor. And thanks for watching my video. As I was typing my newsletter this morning, I went to try to find some YouTube videos to attach to my newsletter to explain a little bit about what is happening on the 28th with the full moon and the lunar eclipse. However, these videos were so long and had so much information that I was like, hey, can't we just cut to the chase? So here we are. I am going to record a little video that just gives a top side piece of information about what you need to know with some story and a little bit of a tip. So if you're like, I want to maximize this time frame, this is what you can do. So a full moon has a lot of releasing qualities and feminine energy. So whenever there's a full moon, it's a really great time to do a, do a deep dive to see what you can release. What does that mean? <laughs> it's really important to always be releasing. Just like you would edit stale food in your refrigerator, right? As you would throw it away. <laughs> the same thing is with other things in your life. Maybe you have a business and some things just aren't producing an ROI or taking up a lot of time or you can't find the right person to help you with it. It just needs to go. Maybe you have old relationships that really are dragging you down energetically. Maybe this person talks your ear off. They never ask you how you are. You're not having a fun time hanging out with them. These are old relationships that just maybe need to go. Maybe you're in a group and the group has stale energy and the leader really isn't as um, leadership like as you would like her to be. And you're just on a different level. That group probably just needs to go. So what ends up happening that not that many people talk about enough is when you start to edit things, you're bringing in space, you're allowing space for new things to come into your life. It's just how it works. It's how the universe works, right? So you clear out space in your closet. Sometimes you end up filling it back up, right? You clear out space in your refrigerator because you're bringing in some new groceries. It's the same basic principle. Some things need to go for new things to come in. So then what happens when there's an eclipse, it's just truly just amplified, right? So there's a lot of people going through a lot of emotional things right now. And in general, probably since the beginning of time, right? We just know more about it with social media. But <laughs> so your emotional state may be more amplified in this process. And it also is a really good time to have an extreme conscious awareness around your shadows. So you can say, well, this person's really annoying me. Maybe there's something to be looked at in that, right? And often what we end up doing is we just kind of cut people or we disregard it and we think it's all them, but sometimes it goes back to some work that maybe you need to do. And unfortunately, there's a lot of coaches out there that don't get into that. They don't explore that with the people that they're working with, with their clients, and they just like, oh, it's the other person. And then that person that they're coaching never does the deep dive, never does the work, and never fixes that so it doesn't come up again, right? So it's just a really great time to be introspective, to spend some time by yourself, to also practice, I guess you could say, some feminine energy. Like, what does that look like, right? Some people work all the time and are always pushing. I can be accused of that for sure. So tomorrow, what am I doing? I'm going to see a movie with my friend and her little girl. And then on Sunday, what am I doing? I'm going to dinner with my husband and I'm gonna relax and have fun. I'm gonna spend some time in the hammock, go down to the beach, make sure I take my walks, do things like that. Because again, the full moon is about feminine energy. So you wanna be releasing. You actually want to have these thoughts come to the surface so you can release them. So you can release things, you can release thoughts, you can release patterns, and then you can let the new stuff come in. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be yucky. I actually think it's really quite fun because let me tell you, when I let go of things and old relationships and old groups, magical new things come into my life so quickly. It's bananas. Sometimes I'm like, are you kidding me? I actually had an instance with a group and it was like the fourth time it was like smacking me in the face. 
So finally this week I was like, okay, this is the fourth time that this leader has not shown up. Like she's not showing up. You send that person love, they're just on a different ascension plane than you are. So I let it go and you know what, what happened? The next day, another group I'm in sent me an amazing email asking me to do something and I was like, what? See, you close the door and the better door that's meant for you opens. But again, no judgment, comparison, <laughs> let it all go. Let it all go. Send the people that you're cutting ties with love. Send the groups love because it's just time to move on. It's just time to move on. Same thing with you. You may have this happen where you're like, why hasn't that person called me? Why has that person ghosted me, right? They could be moving in a different direction than you are. You can have same amount of love for them, but just know that their ascension plan and what's going on is different. When they say people grow apart, like when people get divorced and they say they grow, grew apart and people are like, well, what does that mean? That's really what that means, right? One person went on this plane and the other person maybe just kind of stood there. That happens, that happens, that's okay, that's life. And the more you just kind of get used to that and normalize it and treat it with love and compassion, but keep moving, the movement is so important more and more magical things will happen. I promise you, 